doing me now? I'm still the talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the crowd. Can't hop out, then we clear in the crowd. It got a. I let it. Now you a. Now you a pet. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview. And who do I have here with me on the couch today? Biggest shark of the sea. You heard Najee and this bitch. We got Naya G here. You say you the biggest shark in the city. What what city? What city, sis? Where you from? from Camden, New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? The trenches. Okay, so walk us through like what it was like growing up in Camden. It was rough. We always bad as hell running around. You know what I'm saying? We made the best of it. Like mm. it was rough, but it wasn't like as bad as it could have got. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Is it still like that now? I'm not too. No, like... It's it's crazier now. Way crazier. Oh really? <laughs> oh wow okay so were you always like well would you consider yourself to be like outside in the field yeah 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 <laughs> were you <laughs> were you always like that or was that like something that came with age it was really like it's really like a stage joint like it's certain i feel like it's certain levels of being in the field like certain mm -hmm. shit you go through like certain shit that happened that just make you be like that it started from some little shit you know what i'm saying escalated mm -hmm. like that's really okay I'm so would you say like you more so like a product of your environment? Is it stuff that you yeah. experience? Yeah, yeah. Cause I ain't asked for ops, but niggas be hating this shit. You know what I'm saying? So oh, isn't that's just what happened when you and lit in the city? We don't gotta get too much into detail, but is it like niggas or you got like? I don't beef with females. There ain't no real beef with no females. I got male ops. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you bought about it if you got. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we gonna get into the music. So, like, what were you listening to growing up? Lil Wayne, Drake. They was lit when I was first starting writing. You know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. was on the radio. That's who was playing. So I was listening to older rappers, like mm -hmm. mainly males, because I don't really listen to female rappers like that. So. Okay. Okay. So, were you influenced by them? Were you just listening to them? Yeah, because they made me want to write. Cause punchlines and stuff, I really try mm -hmm. to challenge them or challenge myself to make some hard line that make people be like, "Damn!" Like, okay, so what was it like um, making your first song? The first time you stepped in a booth, what was that like? It was just different. I don't know, cause before I stepped in the booth, I was freestyling on my phone. Like I sit my phone up, rap to it like that. Okay. So when I went in the booth, it was just like, all right, now I'm really making songs now. Like I'm ready to take this shit to a different level. Mm-hmm. And you were freestyling. What was the reaction from people when when it was him? You freestyle. I didn't even want to post it on my page. I I had it with my boy Seb. I was sending him the videos, and it was just going crazy. Like from the minute I started, it was like in the hood. I started bubbling for real. Mm -hmm. And you've been making music for a minute, right? And it's still going up. Cause I I saw you had sober, mm -hmm. and that's at like over sixty thousand, mm -hmm. and it's still going up. Right. And like I said, that was a while ago. So mm -hmm. like, how would you compare the music that you was making back then to like what you're making now? Back then, I don't know. Like it was just like I was just starting. You know what I'm saying? Everything different now from like my delivery, the tone of my voice, everything. Like mm -hmm. I'm just different and better now. The way I say stuff, like. I don't know. And we talked about like the reception back before when you was freestyling and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like, what is it like now? How do people react to your music now? The same way, even more now. I'm getting like reactions from people that really matter. Everybody matter because it's all at fans count 100. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying like. You got celebrities seeing what you're doing and really like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking with you like that. It's, like, different. Like, mm -hmm. So I'm getting a bigger crowd. Now. So who were, like, some people that you got support from or got, like, co-signed from that you were, like, excited? I've been to? around some big people. Like, Fab was probably the biggest person I've been around that would really, like, gave me some gems. And, like, really, like Freeway, too, though. He an OG from Philly. But mm -hmm. he big, though. He was giving me game and shit. So did you think like that you were gonna start like going up, going up when you when you were writing your music when you first started? Or no, that's why I was scared to post on my page, like, cause I didn't know how they was gonna take it. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. But then I stopped giving a fuck for real. <laughs> so if it wasn't music, and let's say you know, I won't say God forbid, cause you already going up. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't, what would it have been? What would you have been doing? I would have been a surgeon or some in school for surgery, cause that's really was my main goal, like. Mm -hmm. medicine and stuff like that so so is that something you're still interested in or yeah yeah, yeah. you in school or no no nah. okay well i'm gonna i'm gonna finish school though 
sure. Okay, and it's never too late, you know. Right, take your time. Know. Um, so how would you describe your sound if you had to describe it in a few words? Trenchers. Trenchers. <laughs> okay. Cause, um, but I'll be on some calm shit though, so it'd be like, um, um, I don't know. It's hard to describe calm, myself. So like a little in between. Yeah. But you're versatile, so you can't say both. Yeah. Like authentic versus Okay, child. shout out to you for that. I'm authentic. humble too. Mm -hmm. So do you consider yourself, and I know this is a redundant question, <laughs> but a, would you consider yourself a drill rapper? No. 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 So if you had to categorize your music, what would you categorize it as? Just hip hop, right? Like, okay. Because I think I saw something, and correct me if I'm wrong, that was associated with your name. It said Queen of Drill, no? I don't be calling myself dead. There was somebody that had posted something or something. It said Nia G is the queen of draw. I think I saw it on Twitter. Mm. And I was like, that's very interesting. Because I wonder if she that's considers. Dumb. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I wonder if she considers herself. Because it's a, every female that drill rap say they're the queen of drill. I ain't looking for that title. I ain't no drill rapper. I'm mm -hmm. the queen of this whole rap shit. That's what I'm trying to be. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Top of all that shit. And I, was, I really wanted to get your feedback on that. Because I think, you know, you got the TikToks <laughs> with the... The props, God, you got the guns and all of that, you know, you got the tough exterior and all of that. So I think maybe that's where it's coming from. Yeah. Um. So how did you build your image? I won't say it's an image, but like, how did you decide that that's like what you wanted to go out with? Because that's how I am for real. Like, I always been like tomboyish mm -hmm. with the guys all the time. So it just came natural. Like when it was time to shoot a video, that's how I was coming. You know what I'm saying? It just... That's how they took me. Mm -hmm. And I think it separates you from a lot of female rappers mm -hmm. also because you don't really succumb to, like, the whole, like, sexualization right. and all I'm that. I'm showing a little skin now because they was thinking I'm gay and shit like that. I don't want them thinking that. Like, I'm trying <laughs> to show my feminine side when I wear a little shit like this. If uh -huh. you see I'm hunched like this because I, I ain't comfortable and stuff like this, I throw a hoodie on so fast. But I think that's something that's important to you because you're authentic, as your homeboy over here said. <laughs> so, I mean... You know, do what you want, sis. But do you feel like there are pressures as a female artist to, like, show skin and be yes. girly? Yes. And what makes me different is because I have a big male fan base and I don't rap about sex and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Usually girls, that they build sex appeal to draw males in to have that, oh, I want her, oh, her butt fat, oh, she, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I want respect from niggas. And they look at me like, oh, shit, like, real niggas really listen to IG, so. Mm hmm that's what I be trying to make it. And I saw, like, you had posted a video of when you were performing like that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's more of, like, a sexual yes, song. Yes, you only like, got, you like, three so songs <laughs> like that. Only got, like, three songs like that. So how does, but how does it make you feel? Like, are you okay? Do you feel like there needs to be that versatility? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, because I need female fans. I be too hard. I feel like my raps be too hard for females. That's why my female fan base ain't as big as my male fan base. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm going to have something for the ladies, too. You know what I'm saying? So okay. Ain't nothing to jump and have the ladies and do some sexy shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. But it's hard for girls to do some hard shit and draw men in. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Which I could do. Okay, so how would you describe the state of <laughs> female rap right now? It's definitely doing this thing bigger than I think it ever was, for real. It's mm -hmm. a lot of female artists. And you did the, um, what was it, the Women's Month Freestyle, which mm -hmm. was dope. And that, that whole thing was dope. And, you <laughs> know, you. you was last. You came with it. You ended off <laughs> great. You. I had fun doing that. So who, like, are there any female rappers out right now that you would like to collab with or that you've been listening to? I know you how, how you feel. You, been, <laughs> you told us how you feel about female rap, but mm -hmm. anybody you like to work with? Um, I always work with Nicki Minaj, you know what I'm saying? She just different. Her, right? yes. So that's really it. Yeah, I ain't really, I wasn't really, like... I mean, I would, but I ain't really reaching or working with females. Mm -hmm. And do you like freestyling more like you were before, or do you like recording, getting in a booth, doing your thing? Uh, I write. I feel like I'm better when I write, so I mm -hmm. like to write, go in the booth. I could do some off-the-top shit. It's going to be hard, but it ain't going to be that long, I don't feel like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like. I like to really think about my shit, so it'd be hard, right? Like. So what's your creative process like? What do you use as, like, inspiration to write your music? I don't know. It would just be coming out of nowhere. I write a whole song off of one line, off of one thing I seen or, or something, like one thing that happened or something. 
and that'll be the whole song. Like, and do you play the beat first? Do you get a beat first? Do you write? No, first and sometimes it'd be just you got. Cause I'm real like I don't know. I'll be hearing everything in my head before it even hit a beat or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. already hearing the bass and how I want it to sound. So it's it's easy for me to write it without a beat and then pick a perfect beat for it. That be okay. So I know you write your own music, mm-hmm. but how do you feel about Ghostwriters? That don't count, bro. Don't count. So you don't <laughs> think a person is considered. A rapper it's a talent, you know what I'm saying? Cause mm-hmm. you read somebody else's shit for real. That's ta- that's a talent, but it's like you can't consider yourself a real rapper rapping somebody else's stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, do an entertainer at that point or something. Like, something. Okay, I feel that performer now. Performer or something. <laughs> so, how would you feel about ghostwriting? Would that be something that you would do? Mm-hmm. I write some hard shit for somebody. Okay. All right. So if anybody's looking. Yeah. All right. So um. You described yourself as shy before I saw mm-hmm. on TikTok, I believe it was. <laughs> so how do you get the confidence to, like, go out there and do your thing? I'm more confident now than I've ever been, for real. Because it's like, that shy shit ain't going to get you nowhere. And I had to say that to myself. And it's like, now I'm just, like, trying to get out there more. I'm still shy a little bit, but mm-hmm. I'm trying to kick that shit to the side. We don't got time for all that. <laughs> Okay, all right. So, do you look up like what people say about you online? Do you read comments? No, I read all my comments. And I don't give oh, a fuck really? what nobody be saying about me. That's what that's the thing. Like, I can read all my comments. Don't give a fuck. None nobody could say can make me feel different about myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I got that self love and like confidence for real. Because the internet yeah. is freaky. Yeah, and the industry will break you too. For real. Is that something that you've always had? Is that something that you grew into? No, I've always been like this. Okay, okay. So I see you got the chain with the Bando Baby records on it. So how did that come about? What was it that made you want to sign to Bando Baby? My man Garcy, he had hit me. And to be honest, I really, like, didn't see his DM or none until, like, a year later. And I'm like, uh, and he was like, how can I make your situation better? I'm like... Look on his page and stuff. I see him with Meek. I'm like, put me straight with Meek. <laughs> I'm trying to spit some shit with Meek, be dream test or something, like something. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, um, Meek my boy, you know what I'm saying? He ain't going to listen to just no song I send him like that. But I could definitely make something happen for you, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, he was just different, like something different. Because I read people good, like, and Garcia mm-hmm. my boy. So we linked and stuff, and from there, talk business, and it been up from there. Okay, so are you happy with the decision? Yeah, yeah. Would there be any words of advice that you would give to artists that are looking to get signed or thinking about getting signed that maybe you wish that you knew before you signed? Getting signed ain't all you think it is. Like, it ain't is what it seems for real. It's a lot to it, and you got to be real careful. A lot of times you don't even need to sign. Just be independent. It ain't for everybody, I know, but try to stay independent, build this shit for yourself. Okay. Okay. So, what did? What, how did you feel when you got your chain? Was that like your first like yeah. chain? Yeah. No, I bought my uh, own shark chain, but but this was like a bigger chain. Okay, it got was a couple different. Pieces. Like, it turned me up, like. <laughs> so you said, well, "Sorry," because I was I was admiring <laughs> the I was admiring the ice from yeah, over here. So you saying, said, "How did you feel?" I was just saying I was happy. Like mm-hmm. it was just like chain and day, you know, and that shit it turned me up. Okay, okay, okay. So how important is, like, your image to you? Are you, like, a material girl? Are you just, like, you do what you want, you wear what you want? Do what I want, wear what I want. I don't have no styles or none. You know what I'm saying? I'm not girly at all. So it's, like, if it was up to me for real, mm-hmm. T-shirt, jeans, shit like that, but I'll be trying to get swaggy a little bit. <laughs> I mean, but you pair it up nicely because you still, like, you know, you got the – Face beat, the hair laid, Thank and you. you still pair it up with your own style. So I think that it works. <laughs> so what do you do? I'm interested because I know that you, you in the churches for real, you outside. <laughs> but like, what do you do for fun? Hang with the guys for real. I don't do shit, bro. <laughs> like, I don't how, do shit. How do you balance like your, you know, music? I'm a mom. And- so that take up most of my time. I be having fun with my son. He too, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, Aww. that be keeping me company like... But other than that, mm-hmm. I just like hanging with the guys, being on the block. I'd rather do that before anything. I don't mm-hmm. know. That's just where I'd be comfortable. Like. Mm-hmm. So I was asking about the balance between 
your career and your friends, but how was it balancing being a mom and trying to go up in it's your career? It's hard, definitely hard. It's not easy at all, but your kid is your main, should be your main purpose, and that should make you want to grind harder at whatever you're doing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And trying to rap and be in the mix and on the scene, and I'm still a full-time mom, you know what I'm saying? It's hard, but I'm trying to make it happen. Like mm-hmm. I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> and if there was anything that you... Like, later down the line, if your son was to look back on, like, your journey and your process, what is one thing that you would want him to take away from, like, your experience? Um, like, with this whole about, rap journey? Yeah, about his mom. Keep hustling. Like, just, I don't want him to be a even harder hustler or hustle just as much as I did. Because when I make this shit happen and become a millionaire for him, I want him to be like, yeah, my mom did this for me. Because that's really what it up. Mm-hmm. I want him to hustle, grind, always have that. You know? mm-hmm. And so I see you here with the guys. I know you got a lot of guy friends in your videos. You <laughs> got a lot of guys. Like, mm-hmm. how does that translate into, like, I don't know if you're dating, but wh- where you are, like, do guys get intimidated by that? No, because they know stuff. Ain't no, ain't no nigga over my guys. You know what I'm saying? My brothers. <laughs> These my real brothers, like, mm-hmm. from day one type shit. Like, ain't no nigga ever going come between that or try to, and my boys know too, like they know the boundaries of me having a boyfriend, but, mm-hmm. and my boyfriend know the boundaries of me having my brothers. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Like, <laughs> okay. So are you dating? Do you have a boyfriend? No. No. I'm trying to run this shit up. You know what I'm saying? I don't got okay. time. Okay. And that's your period. Really. I feel you, sis. It can wait. It can wait. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but do you hang out with girls too? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah, shout out my bitches. You already know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I only got a couple friends, like a couple uh-huh. girlfriends, because they thorough. Like, I don't really like females like that. They shysty. Mm-hmm. Only want to talk about niggas and shit like that. That's not me. Like, mm-hmm. so. And that's why I was curious, because I, I got that from you. So yeah. I'm like, I wonder, like, who you, who you hang around my with? Girls that, don't, my girls, they, they the only ones that could pull that out of me. They had me really, like, on some female shit, for real. Because <laughs> they get, like me, gangster boys like me, too. But they, mm-hmm. they more girlier than me. So Okay. They like have me. But there's a balance. It's important to mm-hmm. have a little balance in right. a friend group. Okay, so I know I asked you to describe your music, but how would you describe yourself? If you had to describe Naya G in three words, how would you describe yourself? <laughs> Thorough. You know what I'm saying? Real. Mm-hmm. That. That. That? Consists say? of a bunch of different words. You know what I'm saying? I'm just that. Good words, though. Okay. I ain't conceited or nothing, but I just feel like I'm that because I made myself that. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay. How did you make yourself that? Because I went out there and made a name for myself. You know what I'm saying? Before mm-hmm. this Bando Baby stuff, before anything, I went out there. I rapped. I did that. It got clouded. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, And they turned me up for sure. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no discrediting them or nothing. Mm-hmm. But I really got out there, got my name turned, got buzzing and all that. Do you feel like you still get support from people in Camden, from your hometown? Not really. No? Most of them niggas ops. If they not ops, they dick riding the ops. They scared or something. Like, oh, I don't damn. know. <laughs> Some people in the city support me, but not the whole city. I ain't going to hold you. Like, And that's unfortunately the reality of what yeah. it is. The people I already know. I ain't already kept mm-hmm. like, my city behind me. They not. For real. So where do you get the most support from? Where do you think you get the most support from? My hood. My block. That's all yeah, that okay, so outside of your block, like, oh, is there, about, like, another city? Yeah, or? Philly. It be Baltimore. It be other countries. Like, mm-hmm. I be uh, going up a lot of places. But New York, starting to really get in tune now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Jersey, like different parts of Jersey. Okay. Baltimore. You, you low-key give me Philly vibes for some reason. I've, I've been out there too long. So. Oh, yeah, because I'm like, you, you definitely give me Philly vibes. Um, are, you in, are you listening to any Philly artists? Are you tapped in? Maybe so? are. Maybe it's a couple Philly artists. That's it. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right. So, is there any like common misconceptions of you? Well, we already touched on one. <laughs> <laughs> but is there any other like common misconceptions of you that you have heard like as you've been going up? Mm. Um, I heard that somebody, one of my guys, be writing for me. That was crazy. But. That was not, I ain't heard that too many times because niggas know what's up, but that was just crazy. Mm-hmm. You write your own shit. Okay. I take pride in that. 
So what's so what's next? Like what can we look forward to? Um, My tape about to drop. You know what I'm saying? Hardest shit coming. You know what I'm saying? And City what, near you. And what's that sounding like? What can we expect? It's versatile. It's all different sounds, all different vibes. Cause I just want everybody to feel all different type of ways. I want to not a G song for however you feel. You know what I'm saying? That's how I got be. So that's how I'm coming for this tape. Like okay. And when can we expect that? Mm, this summer, I don't okay. say, but this summer. We don't need no exact dates, but we just know that we're going to be vibing Street's about to get hot this summer. Okay, okay. So is there anything else that you would like to talk on, touch on, before we sign out of this? No, I don't really be talking much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it was good having you. Thank Welcome you back to New York. Thank and you. And we looking see. forward to the mixtape. Make sure you shout out your social media so that everybody can follow you. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Naya underscore G. Follow me on Twitter, Naya G3. TikTok, Naya G3.